hello this video as the title clearly states is going to be me giving you 10 tips and by you i mean anybody who is casually dating or seriously dating men these tips are all based on things i personally learned myself during my two and a half year whole phase where i was casually dating men and here and there i seriously dated them so this is just to help out uh women who maybe have not had a lot of experience with dating so they don't know what to expect they don't know how to react to certain situations they don't know what it means when a guy does this or that also it's for any woman who hasn't reached a certain uh, level of self-love yet and so certain things keep happening happening to her when she's dating and she keeps letting it happen i was that woman once and i think we all were at some point if you're gonna be one of those people who feels like you ain't never been played before or like never went through nothing with a guy and you're not stupid, you wouldn't fall for something like that, then this video is not for you. And you're wrong, by the way. <laughs> Before I start, I do wanna say, and I'm gonna start saying this on all my videos, this is the one thing I don't do that other YouTubers do. I'm gonna tell y'all to leave a like on the video. If you want to see more stuff like this from me, definitely like and comment and let me know because you know I don't typically do stuff like this but I've been thinking about doing it more um so we're gonna see how this goes so number one stop giving men a date just because they seem nice and are cute enough so how bad could it be if you know deep down that they're not checking off the things on your list just say no don't adjust your standards now this one is specifically for women who are like seriously dating you know when you're casually dating there are a lot of things on your men checklist that you're willing to just forget about because you know it's just sex for me personally my list for men i'm seriously dating is like 10 times longer than you know, the list for men I'm casually dating. For casual men, I just need you to have a good personality. I need you to be fine as hell. And I need you to not be like racist or misogynistic or colorist or anything like that. That's pretty much it. <laughs> like when it comes to seriously dating, obviously there are more things personality wise and mindset and like, you know, their views and outlook on certain things that are important my experience i've done this so many times and i promise you it has never ended well not one time you will always end up disappointed or not necessarily disappointed in their behavior but it's just gonna always be this never-ending cycle of you trying to force yourself to like them more than you do and they could be the sweetest guy on earth give you all the attention in the world treat you like a princess you won't like them if <laughs> you know if you just think they're just a nice guy it's it's never gonna work just cut it off after the first date when you first realize that rather than dragging it and potentially hurting them way more than you would have if you would have just been straight up about it number two this is also for the women who are seriously dating if he's not consistent making detailed plans outside of just kicking it and chilling and engaging in regular conversation that is not sexual in context, do not keep giving him a chance. Even before you go out for the first time and a guy is like doing these things, like all he talks about is kicking it. He, does, he never talks about going out on a date. He always talking about you coming over or him coming over. Um, he's always making little sexual innuendos and it's like, oh, that's cool. He's attracted to me, but you don't want it to be like a constant thing. Most guys, actually every guy that I've dated seriously that actually liked me, they were clearly attracted to me physically 
before we went out, but the conversation never turned to sexual, ever. We always had regular conversations. They never made one sexual remark, ever. They might have called me pretty or beautiful or gorgeous or whatever. Never made any sexual innuendos until after, you know, after we went out a few times and decided we liked each other and then we wanted to take it to that level. If he's always just trying to chill, always making some kind of sexual comments, even if it's funny, and you laugh at it, huh? You don't wanna give that guy a serious chance if you're looking for an actual relationship. Especially if he hits you with this line and you didn't even ask him. I don't just want sex, like I really wanna get to know you. He's definitely lying. Number three. <laughs> Another one for my, well, this could go for both if you're seriously or casually dating. Be in the moment on the first date. Engage him, flirt, give verbal and nonverbal cues that you're interested, compliment him, ask him questions about himself, stay out of your phone, smile. The reason I put this on a list is because there have been a lot of times where I came off to guys that I actually was interested in. I came off as uninterested because either I was in my phone a lot and that's just something I do out of like, uh, a habit is like a reflex almost when I'm not doing anything to just grab my phone and just look at it a little bit even if I'm talking at the same time. And guys that typically go out with me are guys who aren't really into social media like I am so they don't understand like always having to be on your phone and stuff like that so it is really really rude to them and they feel like oh she's way more interested in her phone than talking to me and even though I know, and you know that's not the case. That's how it looks to them. And I think a lot of the time, women expect guys to be the one that's always like flirting or complimenting you or trying to learn about you. Cause you know, women are always getting told they're the prize. You know, men are the one that, that are trying to, to get you. So they should be putting the work in to, to, to cuff you. But if you're interested in them, you want to do the same thing or else it's going to be one sided. He's going to think, oh, she's not she's she's not interested in me. She's not asking me anything about myself. So she must not want to know anything about me. Um, she's sitting really far away. She must not be attracted to me. You know, things like that. Number four, this one is like. I mean, they're all important, but I feel like this one is the one that is never, ever, ever wrong. Like, it, every time, it happens every time, okay? If he doesn't hit you up after the date or the next day, he's not trying to see you again. Some of you are gonna say, Well, that's not true because I went out with this guy once and we didn't talk for a whole week. And then he called me and we've been together for three years. And stuff like that. And that takes me to the movie. He's just not that into you. I don't know if you've seen it. If you haven't, you should definitely go watch it. In that movie, they break down rules and exceptions, okay? So all of you women who are thinking that you were just the exception that time. The rule, meaning the thing that happens nine times out of 10, is that if he doesn't hit you up, he doesn't want to see you again. And he's not going to hit you up. And I promise you, every date I've been on, and I've been on a lot, every date I've been on where the guy didn't hit me up after, or the next day, or that week, and I'm the person who reaches out first, I never, ever, ever get a response. I am always ghosted let that man reach out to you it's like they always say men when they want you they're gonna find ways to have you okay they're gonna do what they can to get to you if they want to talk to you they're gonna talk to you number five which is also about ghosting when men who previously disappeared with no explanation Pop up again, which they tend to do at some point. Do not engage them. And if you do, if you just cannot help yourself and you have to respond, 
don't be, you know, all think about it and go off on them about how you did this and then you left me and blah, blah, blah. Just act like you don't care because if he's, if he's hitting you up again, I guarantee you he's just bored and trying to see if he can make something happen with you while he's bored until he finds something else to do. And when you act like you don't give a fuck, it's going to crush his ego. And that is, it's the best revenge. Number six, if you go on a date, don't try for a second date just because he was a good guy if you know you can't see yourself with him. So this is kind of similar to number one where I feel like a lot of women settle for a guy because he's safe or he's a good, he's a genuinely good guy, even though they know that they don't really fit with that guy. And just like I said in number one, it's gonna be a situation where you're constantly turned off by them, but trying to force yourself to like them as much as they like you and it's not gonna work. Also, a lot of the times when you do go out with guys like that again, they end up ghosting you. <laughs> At least in my experience, like you always get dumped and then you feel really stupid because you're like, I didn't even fuck with you like that. And you dumped me? What a waste of time. Number seven, don't expect closure. Don't force closure, learn to live and let go. There are gonna be a lot of times where you will be dealing with emotionally immature men who, like I said, they will ghost you or they won't give you real reasons as to why they can't be with you anymore, why they don't wanna see, why they don't wanna see you anymore. And you might never hear from them again and you're just kind of sitting there with questions, um, just confused. And you're likely gonna wanna seek them out and ask them, well, why don't you wanna go out again? What happened? Why didn't this work? I thought we were like, really clicking. I thought we had great chemistry, blah, blah, blah. And you may never get an answer. And it's best to just accept that it wasn't meant to be, just to move on to the next one. Because if you sit in there wanting closure, first of all, closure, trying to seek closure is gonna have you ending up in situations you don't wanna be in, where you're like running back to a toxic person or having sex again with a toxic person and, you know, falling right back into their trap. So, none of us want that. Number eight, never date the same man twice if significant time for growth has not passed, okay? Most people will tell you never date an ex again because you broke up for a reason or, you know, never go back, never go backwards is what they say. But I personally feel like, and I've had, you know, a personal experience where there, there are certain situations where people go back to the same person over and over again. And it's a toxic relationship that never changes. Like y'all still dealing with the same issues, nothing was resolved. And, you know, going back to that person after breaking up for like two weeks or a month, you know? So of course nothing has changed. But then there are situations where you might have dated somebody and one of you or both of you was too immature for the relationship at that point. And then, you know, it's, you break it off. You don't talk for a couple of years maybe. So a bunch of time has passed. You've both grown, been through different experiences. You're more mature now. And then when you meet again at some point, you realize that you are a much better fit. So I feel like in that situation, it's perfectly fine to go back to an ex because you're different people now. But if significant time hasn't passed, nothing has changed, they're still doing the same things, just leave them alone. Number nine, follow good rejection etiquette. 
If he tells you he doesn't see it going anywhere after the first date, don't take it personally. Let him know you understand, tell him to take care and move on, okay? Just like you're gonna um, come in contact with emotionally immature men, there are gonna be rare times where you actually deal with a man who is emotionally mature and honest and he's gonna be straight up with you and let you know look you're i think you're a cool person um the date was nice but i just don't see us going anywhere and when that happens you don't want to be that crazy bitchy woman who can't handle rejection okay women are not above being rejected it happens and a lot of men will tell you, even though I hate this bullshit ass excuse, but a lot it's true. A lot of men will tell you that when they honestly let a woman know that they're not interested, women blow up on them and they go crazy. And I know it happens, but like I said, you don't wanna be that woman. Plus it's just, why behave like that? Like not everybody is gonna be interested in you and that's just a fact of life. And it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. Um, so, you know, like I said, if a man is letting you know that up front, rather than dragging it out, getting you emotionally involved and just throwing you away and ghosting you, like, this is a good thing. And, you know, like I said, just thank you. I think it was cool going out with you too. Thank you for being honest with me and take care okay last but not least number 10 do not go out of your way to do anything for a guy that isn't your man because he definitely won't do it for you now listen to my words carefully i didn't say you can't do any like do anything for a guy you can't do nice things for him i didn't say that like if you're dating someone you like him you want to show that you like him by doing something nice for him that makes perfect sense but do not go out of your way to do things that your relationship is like not on that level yet. Like if you've been seeing a guy for three weeks, you've gone out twice, don't be doing things for him that you would do for a boyfriend. Don't loan that guy money, okay? That's, that's a good one. Don't, don't do stuff like that. Don't sugarcoat things for men. That's really what I mean at the end of the day. Do not sugarcoat things for them because men will hurt your feelings. They do not care. And we be like trying to find the nicest way to say things or to, like a way to put it so that their feelings don't get hurt rather than just being honest and blunt about it. And I feel like we we need to be more blunt about things when it comes to men. Cause like I said, they will definitely shit all over you when it comes, like if, 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 if it's the other way around. Don't sugarcoat things for them. Don't go out of your way to do things for a man that isn't your man yet. Okay, I think I've said all that I can say for this video. Um, Definitely let me know if you, got a situation going on and you need some advice on a guy's behavior like why is he acting this way what does this mean i will give you the best insight i can like i said i'm i'm 27 years old and i've dated a lot and i swear i've learned so much <laughs> So much from these experiences with men and you really start to figure them out I swear you do comment um let me know your thoughts on this list add your own things to the list if you wish um and let me know if you want to see more videos like this okay thanks for watching